all right guys welcome back to daily porcupine today we'll be talking about the transfer news and today we'll talk about three midfielders that have been linked to asante kotoko first of all we talk about emmanuel sakode then we'll go to latif and anabila then we'll go to emmanuel keke of karela united and now emmanuel sakode's move to asante kotoko is still on as the players um, contract talks with Eduana stars have collapsed the player has reportedly agreed to sign a three-year contract with Asante Kotoko. Reports also suggest that House of Oak Legon Cities and other Premier League clubs are also interested in, the, in signing the midfielder, but the player has chosen to move to Asante Kotoko. Now, Sakode is one of the highly rated midfielders in the 2019-2020 National Division 1 League, where he has won eight MVPs award after 18 matches for Coronza Warriors. Will it be a good signing for Asante Kotoko? Let us know in the comment section below. Now we move to Latif and Nabil Ashanti Gold have stated that they will only accept a bid of $20,000, 20,000 US dollars for uh, midfielder Latif and Nabila. Now Latif and Nabila is a strong target for Asante Kotoko and Maxwell Conado is interested in signing the player to boost the club's Midfield. According to Kumasi based Radio FM, Fox FM, um, the miners will only accept 20,000 US dollars for the most prized asset. Latifa Nabila is one of the midfielders at Santa Kotoko are looking to sign in the transfer window. Now let's go to Emmanuel Keke, the player all Kotoko fans want the club to sign. Now Santa Kotoko have, contact, have contacted Kerala United over the possible signing of talented midfielder Emmanuel Keke. Now the Porcupines are steadily looking to improve the midfield and have listed Keke as one of the possible transfer targets. At Ante Kotoko, we are apparently told to wait till next season to secure the services of Emmanuel Keke as Kerala United are struggling to stay in the league this season. Daily Porcupine understands that the midfielder is interested in joining Kotoko but wants to help Kerala stay in the league this season. Kerala United are currently 17th in the Ghana Premier League. I think they will lose the survival battle if they sell their best midfielder. It is still unclear if Asante Kotoko are willing to wait till next season to sign the midfielder as they have all the midfielders on their transfer list. And now that is all we have for today. We'll be giving you more updates regularly as the transfer window um, continue um, to be open. Uh, we know that the coronavirus has stopped football and we hope you all are keeping safe and staying healthy till football returns. So that's all for now. Don't forget to follow us on our social media pages and also like and subscribe below and also drop your comments and what you think about this transfer um, update or rumor or news, whatever you call it. Till next time guys, goodbye.